Hey entrepreneurs, we got a question this week all about how you can screen share over on Instagram. So today we're continuing our live stream hack and Instagram hack series. And the simple answer to this is you can't, but hold up because there's actually a workaround to this one. So here's the deal. Instagram actually has their API closed, which means other people can't get in to do all the fun things we can do on Facebook, on YouTube, and on the other social media platforms. So when it comes to Instagram, how do you actually use it to teach your webinars or to communicate information and not just have yourself on screen? Well, there's actually an interesting little workaround and it involves using the images down at the bottom of the screen. So when you go into Instagram Live, you have some options. You can put filters up, you can do some other things, but you can also add imagery and when you add imagery your screen for your face moves to the top right hand corner and the image takes up the full phone screen so what does this mean for you well actually you can create your own slides just like you would for any webinar or any presentation that you're putting out on the internet and then you can just make sure you leave space at the top right hand corner for your live video Makes a lot of sense, right? So I highly encourage you to actually create the screens in a vertical format to fit your phone and then just leave that top right corner free for your video. So all of your information should be basically in the center. Keep in mind as you're doing this, people are going to be joining you on your Instagram live stream, which means there's going to be comments down on the bottom. So anything you have down on the bottom of your screen will be covered up by what people are saying and by their icons, by their avatars, and it might get a little messy down here. So don't put any information down on the bottom. In fact, if you really want to make sure things are standing out, make sure you've got that blank space there and possibly use a darker color on the background to make their comments pop so people can see what's going on. And that goes almost halfway up. It goes pretty high on your Instagram feed. So make sure you leave a lot of space there. You do want to make sure your bulk of your content is in the middle and you can actually put some stuff in the top left hand corner as well. If you want to kind of put a subject up there or a topic, you can then also be saving that right side space for your imagery makes a lot of sense. And then all you have to do is click on the bottom of your screen to go through your photos that you've implemented into your live stream on Instagram. And I do recommend just putting these in on that live or in that order that you're going to be doing it. So while you're live, you can just click through it. You don't have to go searching for things. You can slide back and forth and you can change things. And pro tip here, if you are doing a live stream where you have a guest joining you on Instagram, you do have the ability to still do this screen share capability. It will be on your screen, not your guest's screen. So if you have a guest speaker coming onto your platform on Instagram, they will be down on the bottom half of your phone, you will be on the top half, and you will be squished over to the right side while your content is to the left side of you, and it kind of just does that split screen. So anything from the halfway point up will be shown. So just keep that in mind as you are working on this. If you've got a slide or a couple of slides where you're going to be having a guest and you want to communicate that information, you can put it all on the left side of that top half of the screen and it will share it for you just like any webinar. It's a great way to leverage Instagram and to be communicating information to your fans, to your viewers, to your followers without having to stress because you can't officially screen share over on Instagram. This is something I do on my platforms all the time and my fans love it. It's a great way to communicate information and if they're watching me live and there's something valuable to them, something they want to make sure they remember, especially if it's like a link or something, they can just screenshot it right on their phone and then they will have that information. You don't have to keep saying your website over and over and over again and hope that maybe somebody remembers it because they can just click the buttons and there they go. It's right in their camera roll and they can check back afterwards. Now, if you are loving this tip, get down on my comment and say, I want more Instagram tips or I want more live stream tips because I am continuing our live stream hack series and we've got a great great series all on Instagram that we're continuing to add content to. And I need to know what are you struggling with within these two types of platforms, live streaming or in Instagram. I would love to get those questions answered for you. And of course you can join me every Wednesday for a live Ask Me Anything where for 20 minutes I'm answering your questions in real time. Our social media for bosses talk show every single Thursday afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern where we're bringing you breaking social media world news and amazing guests to teach you how to grow a profitable business through smart social media marketing. And we're dropping brand new videos here on YouTube. So hit that subscribe and notification bell because you do not want to is that on all the great content that we are creating for you to make sure that you are making money within your business simply by using social media. My clients are making thousands of extra dollars every single month simply by implementing smart social media marketing and I'm teaching you how to do it for free here and now. And bonus, live stream action plan is now live. If you are someone who is struggling to create live streams within your business, Live stream action plan is going to be for you. It is a roadmap, a step-by-step, button-for-button, click-for-click, word-for-word guide to what you need to do to create one really big, really good, strong, and engaging live stream every single month within your business 
And I'm telling you scripts, I'm giving you marketing, I'm telling you what captions to post, and we're building this together. I am literally holding your hand and taking you through the process of one really big important live stream every single month, plus giving you our magazine, our tips, our tricks, and our equipment so that you can go forth and do more live streams throughout the course of the month as well to supplement and to build off of what you're doing inside of your main live stream. We're building up your business one live stream at a time, and I would love for you to come join me at livestreamactionplan.com. It's open right now. It's a monthly subscription and every single month we give you everything you need to make sure you are doing one really successful and engaging live stream inside of your business. Thanks so much for joining me. I will see you again in the next video. We're actually going to be talking a little bit more about live streams and I cannot wait for this one. I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. So hit that subscribe and notification bell because we're breaking down something that is so dang good. This is cannot be missed. I'll see you then.